Good morning, friends. So in the last class, we have started chain rule. In chain rule, we have seen derivative of y is equal to f of g of x, and derivative of y is equal to log of f of x, and derivative of y is equal to f of x raised to n. So the next form is y is equal to e raised to f of x. Then we have e to the power any function e raised to f of x. What is its derivative? Is? That is dy by dx is equal to the answer is that is e raised to f of x into a fraction. We have to write this function as it is. After that, we have to differentiate this function. Right? Derivative of e raised to f of x is e raised to f of x into a fraction. For example, first one y is equal to e raised to sine x. What is its derivative? See, dy by dx. Now this is the form of e raised to f of x. That is right. If e raised to f of x as it is, then we have to differentiate this f of x. If we are f of x is sine x. What is the derivative of sine x? Or y is equal to c. Y is equal to e raised to x squared plus 2x plus 3. Let us see. Right. So its derivative dy by dx. First write this function as it is. That is e raised to f of x is e raised to f of x into a fraction of x. Write this function as it is. That is e raised to x squared plus 2x plus 3 into. Now we have to differentiate this. Now we have to differentiate this function. That is f of x. Derivative of x squared 2x. Derivative of 2x. 2 into derivative of x is 1 plus derivative of x is 0. So that for dy by dx is equal to now it is 2x plus 2 in, into e raised to x squared plus 2x plus. Okay. So y is equal to e raised to root x. E raised to root x. That is e raised to root x. So dy by dx now derivative of e raised to f of x is e raised to f of x. First, we have to write the same function as it is, and we have to differentiate this f of x. What is f of x here? What is f of x? F of x is root x. Derivative of root x is 1 by 2. So therefore, e raised to root x divided by. Right. So then, y is equal to c. Y is equal to e raised to tan inverse x. Next, y is equal to e raised to tan inverse x. E raised to f of x, that is dy by dx. Derivative of e raised to f of x is e raised to f of x into a fraction of x. What is derivative of tan inverse x? 1 by 1 plus. Derivative of e raised to f of x is e raised to f of x into a fraction of x. What is derivative of tan inverse x? 1 by 1 plus. Now dy by dx is equal to e raised to tan inverse x divided by Or y is equal to c. Y is equal to e raised to cos inverse x. Y is equal to e raised to cos inverse x. What is its derivative? Dy by dx. Derivative of e raised to f of x is e raised to f of x. E raised to cos inverse x into a fraction of x. What is derivative of cos inverse x? What is derivative of cos inverse x? Minus one by the root of one minus x squared. So therefore. dy by dx is equal to minus cos inverse x divided by root of one minus. See next, y is equal to e raised to e raised to see e raised to tan x. Let us say y is equal to e raised to tan x. So dy by dx, what is derivative of e raised to f of x? Derivative of e raised to f of x is e raised to f of x. Into a fraction of x. What is f of x here? F of x is tan x. Into a fraction of x. What is derivative of tan x? Derivative of tan x is. Is it clear, friends? When we have a function in the form y is equal to e power f of x, its derivative is e power f of x into a fraction of x. So derivative of c e power sine x. That is e power sine x into derivative of sine x is cos x. Derivative of e raised to x squared plus 2x plus 3 is e raised to x squared plus 2x plus 3 into derivative of x squared plus 2x. Derivative of 2x is 2. Derivative of 2 is 3. Derivative of e raised to root x that is e raised to root x into derivative of root x is 1 by 2. Derivative of e raised to tan inverse x that is e raised to tan inverse x into derivative of tan inverse x is 1 by 1 plus x squared. That is e raised to tan inverse x by 1 plus x squared. Derivative of e raised to cos inverse x. e raised to cos inverse x into derivative of cos inverse x minus 1 by root of 1 minus x squared. 
that is minus e raised to cos x, not cos inverse x. Now it is minus e raised to cos inverse x divided by root of 1 minus x. Derivative of e raised to tan x, that is e raised to tan x into derivative of tan x is 6 squared. So therefore, derivative of e power f of x, its derivative is e raised to f of x into f raised of x. When we have any function in the form of e raised to f of x, then we are going to use this formula that is e raised to f of x into f raised of x. Right? Next. Root of sec x into derivative of sec x is sec x into 
happens. So therefore, any function when we have y is equal to root of f of x is 1 by 2 root f of x into f dash of x. Is it clear, friends? So in the next form, in the last form is in chain rule. y is equal to a raised to f of x y is equal to next is a raised to f of x then we have a power a means any constant any constant power f of x its derivative is dy by dx a raised to f of x a raised to f of x into log a into f of x derivative of a raised to f of x is a raised to f of x into log a into we have to differentiate this function that is the flat out c how to differentiate such function first one y is equal to a raised to sin x what is f of x here now f of x is sin x now dy by dx dy What is dy by dx? This is in the form of a raised to f of x. What is the derivative? dy by dx is equal to a raised to f of x into log a. That is a raised to sin x into log a into f dash of x. What is the derivative of sin x? Is it here? So y is equal to 3 raised to a raised to f of x. That is let us say 3 raised to log a. Now this is in the form of a raised to f of x. What is a value? a value is 3, what is f of x? f of x value is 0. This is the form of a raised to f of x. a value is 3 and what is f of x? Now apply this formula, dy by dx. What is the formula? a raised to f of x into log a. What is a? It is 3 raised to f of x is log a into log a. What is a value? a value is 3. Into f dash of x. What is f of x? Log a. Derivative of log a is 6. Is it clear, friends? Here a value is 3 and f of x value is log a. What is derivative of a raised to f of x? a raised to f of x into log a into f dash of x. a raised to f of x that is 3 raised to log a into log a, a value is 3 into f dash of x. Derivative of log a is 1 by x. So that is 3 raised to log a into log 3 divided by 1. Right? So now y is equal to a raised to root x. Now a value, what is f of x here? f of x is root x. Now dy by dx, dy by dx, what is the derivative of a raised to f of x? It is a raised to f of x, what is f of x? Root x into log a, a raised to f of x into log a, into f of x. Derivative of root x is, what is f of x? f of x is root x, derivative of root x is 1 by 2. Now dy by dx is equal to a raised to root x into log a divided by 2 root x. Right? So, what is one? y is equal to a raised to root x. Let us take it 5 raised to root x. So, what is a value? Here a value is 5. Right? And what is f of x? f of x value is 6. What is the derivative? Now, dy by dx. What is the derivative? That is a raised to f of x. What is a? It is 5 raised to f of x is set x. Into log e, into log e, what is a value? 5. Into f dash of x. So what is the derivative of f set x? f of x is set x. Derivative of set x is set x into f. So therefore, a value by dx is equal to log 5 into e raised to, sorry, into 5 raised to set x into set x into is it clear, friends? When we have a function of the form a raised to f of x, its derivative is a raised to f of x into log a into f dash of x. a raised to sin x. a raised to sin x into log a. Derivative of sin x. Derivative of sin x is positive. 3 raised to log x. 3 raised to log x into log 3. Derivative of log x is 1 by x. So a raised to root x. a raised to root x into log a. Derivative of root x is 1 by 2. 5 raised to set x. 5 raised to set x into log 5. Derivative of set x x into tan. See students? So these are the different forms 
in chain rule. So after this we have next rule is product rule. So once again I will review all these rules. Right? See. What is the first rule we have seen? So that is chain rule in that chain rule the first form is y is equal to f of g of x. What is its derivative? dy by dx. Its derivative is f, f dash of g of x into g dash of x. This is the first one. Then second one, y is equal to log of f of x. What is the derivative of log of f of x? Its derivative is 1 by f of x into f dash of x. Right? So then third one, y is equal to f of x ratio n. What is the derivative of f of x ratio n? dy by dx that is n into f of x raised to n minus 1 into f flat of x. Then fourth one, y is equal to that is e raised to f of x. What is the derivative of e raised to f of x? Its derivative is e raised to f of x into f flat of x. So then y is equal to root of f of x. So what is the derivative? dy by dx is 1 by 2 f of x into f dash of x. Then y is equal to a raised to f of x. Its derivative is a raised to f of x into log a into These are the different forms in chain. Based on that if the given function is in the form a raised to f of x, use this formula. If the given function is in the form root of f of x, use this formula. If the given function is in the form which is f of g of x, if the given function is f of x ratio n, then this one. If the given function is log of f of x, So these are the basic forms in chain rule. Is it clear, right? So this completes the chain rule. So still we have not started NCRT problems. Once you understand this all theorem, that is all rules properly, then we can start problems in NCRT. So in the next class, chain rule is over, chain rule is over. So in the next class, we will start with product rule. So product line quotient rule, once we finish that product line quotient rule, next we can start, <coughs> that is problems in NCRT. Is it clear? Okay, thanks.